At our time, it was go to school and get a job, but not go to school and start a business. Hi, my name is Florence Kamandu. I'm Kenyan and uh, have been living out of the country for the last 26 years. I came home, back home last year. Well, I got introduced to Centonomy through the social media and I was uh, watching a program by Miss Caroline Mutuko and the founder of uh, Centonomy, Miss Washek and Wati. And uh, I was like, oh my goodness, this is what we all need, financial knowledge and financial management. And so I kept following the programs every time they were aired by Centonomy. And uh, I kept wondering, why don't we have this online? So that we, the diasporans, can be able to learn and understand how things are done back home. So it was my objective, first objective, that once I come back home and settle, the first thing I'll do to myself and for myself is follow up the enroll in the programs so that I can be better equipped to integrate into the Kenyan system. And so my first class was last year. I came in in February and we started with the Centonomy 101, which was a fantastic eye-opener on financial matters. And I got to learn how to spend money because we just, out there you just have cards which you just flash and sit and hope for the best at the end of the month, which I think I speak for many because we have, out there we have the facilities of cards. But then when you sit down and, uh, and start really planning and managing your money, you realize that we lose a lot of money in trivial things which are not necessary. So my first class on personal money management really taught me on how to manage my money. And to conclude or to summarize what the class taught me was I should understand money on what the need is or what the want is. So that if it's a want, I'll think twice. If it's a need, then the money has to be used. The next module that really blew my mind was on time value of money. I sat down and I realized that the what a shilling or a euro is today, does not, it does not have the same value tomorrow. So that gave me a lot of uh, thoughts. It gave me a lot of thoughts on how do I plan and how do I save money for the education of my children so that I do not disturb the lifestyle I'm living in and know how and, uh, how and where to invest to be able to continue the same lifestyle I'm living here 20 years from now. Coming from outside and coming with what we call a lot of money compared to what the shilling is, can be very misleading. So I remember we, we learned on where to invest. So my saving grace was on the bonds. I was able to at least stack some money there, knowing that uh, at least I have something for tomorrow. So that was my first investment back home. And uh, I can say I'm smiling all the way to the bank. So when I started my classes in February, we had physical classes. And uh, to my pleasant surprise, I walked in a class of uh, young, young, young teenagers and young ladies and gentlemen and older ones. And it was a class that was mixed with young people from the age of 20s, early 20s, to the mid 30s, to the late 50s. I was pleasantly surprised at how business oriented these young children, I should say, because mine are of the same age of early 20s, were so dynamic and so 
informed on what businesses they are doing or want to do that it blew my mind because at their age personally I was I would I was not thinking of of uh, starting businesses at that age at our time it was go to school and get a job but not go to school and start a business so they were quite impressive and uh, it's it's changed my mind, it's changed my way of looking at life and letting children start as early as possible to follow their dreams because they are quite informed now and uh, through social media and they literally know what they want at a very young age. I also see that with my children at home. So it's not all school, 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 but yes, school, yes, but allow them to also get into whatever projects they want to, like I saw in our physical classes. We then unfortunately were hit by the pandemic and um, we had to, classes were changed into online classes. So we couldn't meet physically. And I could say I felt pretty sad because I was also networking with the class we had because I had just come home. So getting to meet these uh, fantastic Kenyans and understand their thoughts and minds and how they live. So to me it was an excellent, I think, two, three classes that we had physically before we got on, on to online. So online classes also came up quite fast. I should commend this, the, the, the team that uh, helped us continue with classes online. And it was quite convenient because then doing it from home at, uh, we had to, we, we were given hours that we could join the classes. So it helped me manage myself and manage my family time too. And I could say this was the best thing that ever happened. I think what the pandemic has done for Centonomy is open these classes online, which I was hoping we had many years ago. But well, when it's the right time, it's the right time. So I believe a lot of Kenyans out there and a lot of Africans are going to benefit once they get to know more about Centonomy out there because we need to understand financial matters from our home perspective and because we know we definitely are coming home at one point or another to settle. We have got to be masters of our finances and not allow money to be our masters. So it's a thing we must hold and control so that later in our lives we are we're living happier lives, less stress and especially less stress to the young ones that we leave behind.